I think the, what surprised me the most, and I'm not sure if it's exactly a surprise, but what surprised me the most is that there's so much incredible innovation happening. There's so many interesting possibilities um, from good business models to uh, real technical solutions that can bring about what we want to see in the world, which is making everybody connected. So to me, what was surprising was that reiterating the fact that that is happening. And there is hope. There is hope that especially the satellite industry will have a much more interesting role in that space than it was before expected, frankly. Well, clearly the current model has not been enough to connect everyone. That's why we have this incredibly large usage gap. And so what I think it's important for the satellite industry is that the satellite industry not only can continue to consolidate itself as a key player as they've always been, but frankly be a key player to meet those gaps and to really reach those customers, users, uh, citizens that remain unconnected in rural areas, in remote areas, but also in very urban areas. But most importantly, also having the satellite industry bring about affordable and meaningful connections. And I think that's really the challenge that we hope satellite uh, providers will be able to meet and to really make a dent in the situation that we have now. Well, obviously policy frameworks that work for the industry to continue to invest, to support growth are critical. And the truth is we need to move really fast to be sure that the current policy and regulatory frameworks everywhere in the world, and this is true in most regions, especially of the global south, but not only, that they are ready to welcome all of these new solutions, including all of the different kinds of satellite solutions that are being developed, that are being experimented, and that are looking uh, really promising. So we need to be ready and governments need to work with the industry to be sure that uh, those systems are in place and that once the technology is ready, that is not prevented from actually bringing about meaningful connectivity. Yes, indeed. And in fact, that was one of the themes that came through, I think, quite strongly, not only from the keynote in our panel, um, but also from some of the comments from the other panelists during ITU World, which I was really pleased to hear. We have to care for our planet. There's no way we can think of all of these technical solutions and ignoring the impact of them on people, on the environment, on climate, um, everything. And so I, I think that the fact that we are all thinking about it, not just starting, but really thinking actively about it, it's really important. We ourselves, I hope you don't mind me putting a plug, uh, for the first time uh, published a paper on sustainable access. And I hope that the industry starts thinking more seriously about how can we work with policymakers to support them in having those policy frameworks also be much more um, inclined to support sustainable actions. I would say that some of the partnerships that we are seeing in many countries are really interesting, um, not just from an environmental sustainability, but I would say also from a financial sustainability. I'm not sure which one you are referring to, but I would say they actually address both. And I think all of it, it's seen this really interesting um, combination where collaboration and cooperation come together and you have uh, different kinds of uh, providers that are thinking about all these questions together. So I think that partnerships are critical to make sure that that happens, both on a financial sustainability, but I would say also from an environmental sustainability to make sure that as they work together, they are not overburdening our planet. It's absolutely critical. And um, as I tell uh, your colleagues, you know, over and over again, I feel that the ITU has an incredible platform to bring and to, con to convene and to bring together the real key stakeholders that will make a difference in our space. It's not only valuable in terms of bringing all the voices together, but to maintain that multi-stakeholder approach and spirit that 
exists, especially around the development sector. We absolutely have to work in collaboration and in cooperation. And I think that IT World and many of the other events that the ITU puts together and convenes are critical to make sure that we come together and work in collaboration. I, I would say, if you don't mind, I'll take advantage to say that Partner to Connect is a perfect example of that. I was so happy to participate this week and the leadership, the conversations, the energy, uh, the voices of youth. I was so pleased to be part of that and to join. And I can't work for us to work more in that kind of uh, collaborative context.